Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and I'm not gonna waste too much time myself getting into this video. Um, real quick, um, just so people understand, I didn't know these ratios until I watched Diff Fight. Um, I'd recommend go checking out his channel, it's up on screen now. He did a video, which is the same title as this, just cause it's what I'm doing. But yeah, I got most of my information from there and doing a little bit of research myself and I'm using the same photos and Twitter handle that he later talks about in his episode as well so again I'm just letting you all know what's going on and it's basically gonna be the same as his video but I'm gonna give my opinions and thoughts alright moving in so guys with GB14 being announced we finally get the ratios of the Giza pack and the SPs. So from what I understand, you do not get a Giza pack every single case. Which is mind blowing because these are, yes, they're secret rares, but they look almost no different than a triple rare art with an SP without with an SP box. It's basically just an SP. So with that being stated, I'm kind of upset but at the same time relieved so people are theorizing that you get a Giza Giza pack every other case or every four cases which is okay I guess I mean I guess the Earth Dragons are sticking to their super rarity but it, it it's kind of a letdown as well because a lot of people were probably hoping that we get one per case so that these Z these Z rares drop in price a bit but um, yeah, so you get one Giza pack per case, <coughs> or not per case, every few cases. Um, it does turn out that you do get four Z rares in every case with one of them being a double. And yes, Giza is considered a um, Z rare. So you're almost guaranteed to pull if you buy a case Giza two alchema or two dust and then one of the other so that is nice um so yeah that that's i'm happy about at least giza's a common card he's not going to be super cheap but at least he's common and that does make the giza pack probably one of the most expensive packs of all time because you really can't call it a secret rare pack well i guess you could but at the same time you can't call it a sp pack either so yeah, we get at least one of every Z rare that is in the in a case. Um, each case does also contain four SPs in total. So that's good to know. And honestly, I love these SP arts. I wish I had them. Um, another thing to note is just like GB thirteen, um, all cases will contain and hold four copies of each generation rare so that does highly increase the pull rate of generation rares and on top of that is just good for anyone that might need to have four copies of a generation rare so I don't really think you need four copies of this card and then yeah that's about it on the update I'm trying to get you guys some more Vanguard content I felt pretty bad because over the past couple uh, over the past week I haven't posted a lot of anger con content and that's just because it was very slow in the news week in my opinion we had a few cards released for the case but nothing like super important and with the closing of G coming soon it's gonna probably die down for a bit but guys I do want to thank you so much we finally broke our third video out of thousand views and that was the episode update and guys I did want to talk about something else that was pointed out to me so if you guys didn't tell from earlier um this is an update as well about the Giza pack and I'll probably do a video detailing it more but the Giza pack was changed from these being triple rares to secret rares really don't know why but they were don't really see the point of it but hey that's Bushiro's decision and yeah, that was sort of just the only update about the Giza pack that I was informed about. Alright, well, I guess until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.